<laughs> this Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. The infrastructure just keeps on getting better. The thoughtful little things. Placed into action during the, I guess either the 5th or 6th annual New Hampshire Liberty Forum. Now you have to actually take away, well, it's not really annual because there was one year they missed and it may not be the 6th, but I'm still glad you commissioned it. Anyway, okay, so uh, here we are with uh, former state rep George, or no, you current state rep, right? Yes, correct. Current state rep George Lambert of New Hampshire has been walking around with a bunch of shredded money and non-shredded money. And uh, explain to me what your, me what your message is. Actually, my message is that um, if you actually have gold or silver and you end up shredding it, it has the same value. But when you're walking around with paper dollars, um, if you shred them, they're worthless. And so I got from the Department of Treasury some money so that we could actually have a conversation that says this is really paper. This, these right here, I'll give you one of those if you like, is this is Chinese training money from China. They print it to teach their bank tellers how to recognize U.S. currency. And it's really funny. When you look at all these different denominations, it becomes obvious very quickly the difference between these happens to be ink. They're the same amount of paper. When you compare them to what's in this bag, they have no different intrinsic value. But when you shred them, they're equally worthless. Other than free staters, Republicans got hit so hard in the election this year that when I run into one who's a state rep, I assume he's not a state rep anymore. But a lot of them did actually survive. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do these adjustments to make all those nerves work better. Yes. You're going to take a breath in. That's me. He's actually giving a speech on Henry David Thoreau later at the All Right? And they would give me the dollar. And they would hold it and I would give me this dollar, right? It's mine. It's my property. You're not going to ask for it back right now. And I'd say, okay, watch this. And I rip it in half. And I'd say, you keep this one that's worth it to me. Nature. At Pork Fest, they, they uh, issued a sort of an individual declaration of independence called the Shire Society Declaration. Uh, now, gentleman on the right there, uh, you may have heard of it, Davy Barker. I think I'm saying that right, Davy or Davy Barker. Uh, he is known as the Muslim agorist, and he is also the guy who created uh, the Shire Society uh, Declaration form, which he sees in the artistic there. There's some more of his graphic work. The Liberty Folk uh, organized a signing in New Hampshire back in, uh, I guess, 2010 of this document. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, continuing to grow. Steady. Yeah, see they do. Infam activist Daryl uh, Perry there is uh, learning how to make Shire silver. Yeah. Out of silver. Well, Chuck. Got to get you in on this too. What? Anonymous business, um, which you may be familiar with, listed on a stock exchange. <laughs> I'm giving away one free share. Mm -hmm. Now just ignore me. Go about your day. <laughs> I'm just ignoring this guy over here.
CNN. That would put anybody to sleep. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.